So welcome everyone. How you doing? As you can see, this is what it looks like from the view that I have. Um, last week it snowed for three days straight. We didn't get a lot of accumulation, I'd say about five inches. Now this just started a little earlier this morning. Hello all, Julie Picks here. How's everyone doing? I wanted to show you today how to put vinyl on this tempered glass, what Dollar Tree is actually calling a cutting board, but I consider it a trivet or a pot, hot pot holder. And it has four of these little feet on it. See these little feet right here? They're little rubberized. So it can sit on your countertop or your stove. <laughs> it can't sit on my iPad holder. <laughs> It's <laughs> standing up, but it can sit on your table or your countertop without sliding. So let me show you the rest of the supplies you're going to need. It measured seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And I'm going to measure just inside those little rubberized feet. I don't want the vinyl to go over top of that. I want it to stay in the center of the glass. So I'm probably going to make it uh, all the pieces that I'm going to cut out. It's probably going to be about six by six. So let me show you some more supplies you're going to need besides the glass trivet, which also comes in round. And I'm going to be using 651 vinyl. And I'm going to use gold. And black. And a turquoise color. So all three of these, and you're going to need your pick, a pair of scissors to cut the vinyl, and next to cut your transfer tape, and I'm going to be using Cricut transfer tape, but you can use whatever kind that you like. A pen just for marking where I want to cut it the vinyl and the transfer tape. Okay, you're also gonna need a ruler or a measuring tape to measure out your vinyl and your transfer tape. And you're gonna need your scraper to make sure that your vinyl is adhered really well to your mat. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to lay out the three colors just on one mat, a 12 by 12. So let's get this started. And I also want to add that I'm going to be putting all three vinyls on just one 12 by 12 mat. So we don't have to use three different mats. I'm going to cut it out and I'll show you how I'm going to lay it out and we'll have all three colors at one time cutting. So let's get this started. Alrighty, let's start right from the top. Let's go to Cricut and we're going to go to New Project, which Lady's Ear is blocking that new project. I'm going to replace previous. We're going to get down here to upload and we're going to hit upload images and all your saved images are going to come up. Okay I'm actually going to go with three and I made up two of them to fit with this. It says if you want breakfast in bed sleep in the kitchen. So we're going to click on that one. Green box will appear around it. We're going to click on this little Z's green box and this coffee pot and we're going to hit insert and there they all are okay let's make these smaller and like I said we want to make this six inches and then we'll fit these two into that so I'm going to use my little stylus okay you want to make sure to keep the lock on because you want this to stay in this this rectangle because if it moves one way or the other it could distort distort the wording so we're going to make this six inches long so we're going to make it smaller actually 
actually. And we'll make it bigger on the screen so you can see it better. Let me get it to six inches first. Approximately six inches as close as you can get it. I could probably go six and a half. Let's go six and a half. I think that'll fit. Yeah. That'll work. Six and a half. Hi. Cool. All right. So I'm going to bring these guys closer because we're going to make that bigger. And we don't want to lose these off the screen somewhere. So we'll make that bigger. And we need to get this to fit in that space. So we're going to make that smaller and also keep on the lock button. And this is going to be a totally different color on the mat than this wording is. So let's see, it looks like it just about fits. I think it'll be fine. And I'm trying to decide to put the coffee pot there or on this line. I think it would look cute on that line. So let me make the coffee pot smaller. Also keeping the lock button on so it keeps its shape. It'll be a tiny little pot. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Okay, maybe on the other side. Let's see. Nope. I want to move the coffee pot. Not wording. Put that back where it was. Oopsie. Well, we already have this measured out, so doesn't really matter with this because it's already measured. I think I'm going to make that a teensy bit smaller. Oh, that worked. Just itsy bitsy. Now, what do we want to do with this pot? Let's see. Does the pot look better there or here? Kind of like it's sitting on the countertop to me. I think I like that. But then it's going to be sticking it. No, what well, kind of goes in line with that T right there. So I think it'll fit. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Bring this back down just to show you guys how it looks. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, then we're going to get down and bring it back some so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to get down here and we're going to hit make it and it's going to bring us to our mat on screen and I already have all my pieces lined up on my mat which I'm going to show you in a second so I'm going to line these up to match what I have on my mat. So let's take this big one first, and I have this approximately right here, and then I took the gold, let's put the coffee pot down here some, because I'm going to use the gold color for this one, and I did that right there, okay. And let's bring the coffee pot up. I have the coffee pot up here. All lined up already on my mat. So I'm going to bring it down just a bit and over some. It's going to fit right in those four blocks. And that looks pretty good. Let me just double check with my mat over here and on my vinyl. And it looks good. Actually, I can bring this up a little bit. Okay. All right. 
show you it on my mat how I lined up the vinyl to match this mat and then we're going to mirror it okay now this is where you're going to want to mirror it and we're going to go up here to mirror iron on but it's not an iron on it's a vinyl but because it's going on the backing of a piece of glass we have to mirror it okay and after we mirror it we're going to go down here to continue and then it's going to give us a choice of all the vinyls or whatever materials that we're using and from here I always keep my dial on my Cricut on custom so I can just choose from here what type of material I want to use so I'm going to go to all materials and we're going to go down to vinyl and let's see vinyl and here we are and we're just using everyday vinyl or we'll just say premium vinyl we'll go to that okay and then you're going to see this screen and real quick i wanted to show you that dial that's on the explorer Air 2. It, i believe it's not on the maker but i always leave it on custom so i can just do which vinyls that i want to choose right online and then at this point you'll see your arrow lit up you want to hit that once you get your mat in here I'm going to show you that. but first i'm going to show you how i laid out the vinyl on the mat as you can see it's all on one mat and then just make sure you get it under these white tabs this one over here lined up nice i'm going to go over here and we're going to hit that arrow button that's still flashing Now your Cricut button will be flashing. I'm going to hit that. That's going to take your mat into the Cricut. And now it will start cutting. coffee pot and when it's all finished cutting you'll see your arrow button blinking and you want to press that and it's going to release your mat so let's go ahead and press that and then we are ready to weed. All right, I'm going to quick do the coffee pot weeding with you guys. Like I've said it before, I just go for a corner and just pull the corner up. Okay. And then we want to get this part out right here because that's going to be where we've already drank some of the coffee. And I think that's about it. Yep, that's it to the coffee pot. Okay. Okay, so let's finish 
weeding these. Grab a corner and pull it up. Grab all the little Z's. Can you see the Z's and the little dot dot? Grab those out. Click on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Let's get this one. One more in the middle. Little dot dot. Come on. Hit it with my fingernail. And get this one with my fingernail. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Alright. It doesn't want to leave. Okay. That one's done. Alrighty. I cut out my first piece of transfer tape and placed it on the letters. And now we're going to take our scraper. Push that down nice and tight. Jeez, I can already see it coming up on the tape right there. <laughs> All right, it's like in a hurry to get off of its backing. And I'm gonna push it back. Probably going to be the hardest part because it's lettering. So pick it up from the back position and kind of roll it, like bend it back like this. So each letter hopefully rolls itself out. You can see. I hope you can see. Let's try to do it this way. Just take your time. Just keep trying to roll it back like this. All the letters come out on the transfer tape. One more row to go. Nope, one more after this. There's the word kitchen. go. Cool. We did it. Now to get it on the glass. Now line it up the best you can on your glass and you put it on the back side where these little rubber feet are so that when we flip it over that's why we mirrored it. Okay. So I have it on there with my transfer tape. So fingers crossed. <laughs> We're going to scrape it down and bring you a little closer. And let's scrape it down. And hope for the best. <laughs> we need it to come off that transfer tape. I hear a couple bubbles. Evening, even, even, I can't say evening, evening itself out. <laughs> it's not a word. All right, let's see how we got. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. We're going to remove the transfer tape. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and you want to do the same thing. You want to roll it like we did the paper backing. We're going to roll this over the letters. letters down as you're going. This is coming up pretty good so far. And this little line right here I'm not going to worry about until the end. I'll put it back. Let me just get these letters off. That's the hardest part. Especially a little dot like on the eye right there. I'm going to hold that. Just keep rolling. <coughs> Excuse me. And hold the letters down if need be. Especially that little dot that's coming up in that eye right there. And just take it easy. Hold that down. Please excuse my dried out hands again. I actually had to use some of that. Uh, Band-Aid, what is it? I think it's called uh, New Skin or something. You paint it on, it's like a painted on Band-Aid. Okay, we got another dot coming up on this eye. Oop, that one came right up, cool. Almost done. Well, with this part. Hopefully. rolling. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh the bee's coming up a little bit. Watch everything that you're doing. Okay, be down. best part when it works out. Uh oh this little Y wants to stay on the transfer tape. So if we can hold that down. Yep. These two guys. And then it's always the end pieces. What I mean by end is like this word and this tape for this. Let's see if I can just get this right off of here. Let's see. Oh, oh. I think we're going to be lucky. We can just lay that right down. Let's see. Make sure we get it right. Good. 
So, yep, looks good. And we just have this to add. And let's see if I can get that right off. It looks like it's just going to come right off. Yay! And we will add this right here. Well, it grabbed itself on there, so however it went on is how it went on. And that doesn't look too bad. It's a little crooked, but that's because it took itself. Let me see if I can get it. Get it. Yep. It actually let me straighten it up. So there we go. Pretty cool. Let me turn this light off. I don't have so much of a glare. I'm going to lay it down so you can see it better. It looks like it's crooked, but it's not. It's just the way that it's laying here. Pretty cool. And just make sure that your back is down nice and smooth. All your letters are down nice and smooth. Just go through that when you're finished. But it's down now. Let me straighten this up a little bit. This little mouse pad that I'm working on. Let me straighten it up so you can see it straight. And there you go. If you want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. Pretty cool. Alrighty, here it is on my kitchen counter. Got my Bath and Body Works candles behind it. If you like this video give it a try just remember take it easy take it slow hold the letters down and I want to thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video bye bye